Hi, Den Warren here. Let's imagine a world where there's no Christians, which will happen after the rapture. Think about your job where you work, if you're still working, unlike me. How are they going to respond if you don't show up ever again? How will things run? A lot of times the best workers are Christians. I think that's true in most cases. The most trustworthy, they don't look at the boss to, to see how well they're doing on their job. They look at themselves. They look at how God thinks of what they're doing. Non-Christians don't do that. Then multiply that times billions of times. For example, let's say a Christian airline pilots. Now they're, all of a sudden they're gone. What if the pilot and co-pilot are both gone? You know, that's maybe exceptional example. But, but even the little things like on your job and all the Christians at your place of work are gone. How well are they going to get along? I'm saying not very well. Especially you multiply this and it's compounded over and over and over. And they're gonna, there's going to be more of a satanic influence on everything. Then how well are they going to get along? Things are going to start going badly. And they're going to look for all the wrong direction. The people. And the ones that aren't are going to be coerced into to doing what the other ones want. But you know, the, the world has just complained and moaned and cried for so many years about how things are done and they want it their way and any Christian way or biblical, anything out of the Bible is no good to them. And they're going to get their way. So how well is that going to go for them? Just like in their lives. They don't want anything to do with Christ. At best, they are just plain bored with it. They don't want to hear it. At worst, they hate God. And they don't want any part of Jesus. That is their choice. We are doing a good job of giving them the choice they need to make a, a decision for Christ, and they are rejecting it. It is so sad to, to think that without even listening, without even caring for their own soul, they're rejecting Christ. It is so sad to think about. Please help Continue to do that until your last day because the last day is coming soon when they will have their way and we won't be in their road to stop their lovely program of all the evil things that they've got in mind. There's things going on now that I would have never thought of. How is this even possible years ago? that they're doing, and it's increasing faster and faster. So let's look at your, for example, your, your average person that just plain agnostic person that just really doesn't care, and they think God is boring, it's restrictive. Anything, anything religious, anything to do with Jesus, well... That's natural for humans to love their sin. But on top of that, God has an adversary, Satan. He's working hard to harm humans, you and me especially, in any way they can. Any way he can and his demons, they're working so hard. Praise God, he sends his angels who outnumber the demons two to one. For us, but this is non stop, and it goes on and on. And humans really they they wait too long 
to realize they just got duped in their lives and they go on to eternity. Now, if you're somebody who who came here to listen and you really do care, you need to avoid the place that God has for those who don't want him at all. He's not making any, he's not, he's not, sending anyone to hell. He has a place, hell, for people. It's for people who don't want anything to do with him. Well, there, there's no good thing because all good things come from God. There's nothing good there. There's no, there's no light. It's nothing but pain, torment, and it never ends. But that's that's what it's like without God. So I beg you to consider trusting in Jesus with your soul. Trust him because he was sinless. So he's the only way that humans can find themselves in heaven is to trust him. He was a perfect sacrifice. He's the only way. He's not a way. He's the only way. He is real. The Bible is real. All this is real. Unfortunately, so many people, most people, are not going to wake up until the rapture. And even many then will not. They will believe whatever they're told because it's easier to believe and that's the way they're used to doing. But if you're that one, you're that one listening, you better take action now. You better pray to accept Jesus right now. Just pray and accept him. Repent of your sins Accept Jesus, bow at the foot of the cross, repent and receive him and your life will be better. And you don't find anybody who regrets doing that. So just right now, do it. 